Hey there guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you so much for watching this video tutorial. Now today I'm going to be showing you how you can create uh, some ribbons, uh, like kind of going around some text in Cinema 4D. This is the sort of thing that we'll be creating. Okay, so let's crack on shall we? Go to File New to bring up this plane and the first thing we need to do is want to import a helix. So go to the helix tool here, a spline rather and just go to helix and you see there that it's just got uh, it's rather large loops with with only a few intervals so change the start radius to 25 change the end angle to 1400 and if you just get the height and just drag it up to stretch it out uh, you can change it depending on how, how how long your text is how many characters you'll be inserting so now that you've got the basic 2D helix type, you want to go to the square tool and just import a plane. Now on the plane, you want to change the width to 25, the height change to 650, and change the segments to 60 and 60, so that when we go to create the bend on the helix, it will be nice and smooth. So now we need to go to the MoGraph settings and go to MoGraph and spline wrap now on the spline wrap you want to drag it down onto the plane so it becomes a child of the plane now with that selected the spline wrap drag the helix into this little spline character here and you'll see that it'll bring up this rather weird looking sort of 3d sort of abstract shape now to get it to look like a ribbon you want to change the axes to plus x to plus z and you'll see there that you, you've got some, some ribbons. And now change the mode to keep length as well. So that it's not filling up the whole area. So you can keyframe it so it's going around. As opposed to so it fits the whole thing. So there'll be no animation. So have the mode to keep length. And you see that you've got the basic ribbon type there. Now if you go to MoGraph and text object. Uh, rotate it. Uh, if you hold shift it will kind of snap it to 90 degrees go to the move tool and just try and drag it in might need to rotate the camera so you can kind of fit it in between the spline so it looks like the ribbon will be going around the text just give it a quick render there okay now if you go into text I'll type in chroma uh, change the font. I'll change the font to Harbara. 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 However you say it. God knows it's only a font. Now maybe I'm going to lower the height down a bit so it's not, not so um, in your face and touching the spline. Now what we could do is we can maybe make some material. So I go to File, Shader, and if you go to New Key, uh, you can just drag it on the text. And then if you control C, control V, the new key, double click it and just make the other color red. And choose the red for the ribbons. Obviously you can use whatever colors you want. Tutorial purposes. And you can just start to um, go to the pl uh, spline wrap. And if you go to offset and you just start to um, increase it, you'll see that it starts to evolve around the text and fill in the rest of the um, area so what we can do is you can go to keyframe 1 oh, at the very beginning have the offset at 0 and hit the uh, little middle red, bu middle red button followed by the keyframe button and then wherever, wherever you want it to end I'll use 50 frames for example I will increase the offset to 100 96 whatever and also hit the keyframe button so if we just change the angle here, you see that it was starts to create itself there. Now what we could do is we can maybe make a plane to to add like some reflection. So you change the plane and width. I just bam a few nines. Not very professional, I know, but it does the job. And got a plane that it looks down on now what you could do is you add a light increase the light zoom out and go to shadow 
Inshallah map soft. Just have a look. That's a really, really heavy shadow, that. Increase up a bit. There we go, maybe not as bad. And... Oh, I shouldn't have ticked that button. So I just start to delete these keyframes that I accidentally just made. Uh, where's the other keyframe on the it's on the plane? So one tip if you're watching this without doing it, um, remember to delete and tick that little middle red box. Otherwise, it'll apply it to everything. So I delete that. Go back to zero. I'll change the plane. Playing to nine 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 nine. There we go. Lower it down. There we go. That should do it. And that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, maybe it's not as professional as you would like, but it certainly does a job. Uh, maybe come to a more professional one later. But that's about it for me, guys. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.